hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name is Jason this is your daily hypnosis session I hope you well and I hope that you're able to close your eyes if you safe for you to do so whilst you listen to my voice but there isn't really much for you to do And just to let you know there may be background sounds, which is okay, because this isn't sleep. This is just a focused attention. And I guess the main thing to focus on is my voice. And then whatever reaction or response that you feel physically or emotionally. I just like you to think of something that's been bothering you. Something that's maybe raising your stress levels when you think about it, or something that's winding you up or upsetting you, or you know, anything like that. It doesn't have to be a huge thing, but just something that's annoying you at the moment. Maybe not right now. Because if it's, if it's me, then there's probably nothing we can really do about that, just turn the video off. But something to do with your life. And I'm just wondering where you feel that feeling. Some people feel it in the chest, some people feel it in their jaw and their face. Some people feel it in their hands. Some people feel it in the back of their neck, their shoulders, their stomach. So just notice where you feel it. Some people feel it in their eyes or their forehead. As you can see, I've got a very big forehead. It's getting bigger every year. So just be in touch with that feeling. I'd just like you to imagine that in front of you, you have a whiteboard. That you, you know, one that you can write on. With a pen. But it's not a permanent marker. It's just one that you can wipe off when you want to. And you can have that pen any color you want: blue, green, black, whatever you want. And I just like you in your mind just to write down a sentence about how you feel. For example, if it was uh, I'm angry, I feel angry about my husband's cooking. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of something, whatever it could be. Um, this person frustrates me. I wish whatever, you know. And just write that down. And just look at it on the board. So I want you to write down on the right hand side, so I want you just to have uh, a moment, you know, on the right hand side of the board, I want you to have a part where you just write a line all the way down, from 1 to 10. So 0 at the bottom, then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 at the top. So your feeling of whatever it is, let's say it's a negative feeling or whether it's an anger, whether it's despair, whether it's frustration whatever the word is, um, you can write that word below that line and I just want you at the moment just to tick or mark what number you think it is at the moment 0 being 
doesn't bother you at all, 10 is the worst that it could ever feel. And just mark whatever number that is, whether it's a 5 or a 6 or 7 or whatever. Now I want you to look back at that sentence that you wrote. And I just want you to wipe it out with a marker or a cloth or whatever. Just just that sentence. Now I'd like you to write it again. And wipe it out again. And just look at the whiteboard. I'd like you to write the sentence again. All the time noticing how you physically feel. And wipe it out again. Looking at the whiteboard. Now go to the right hand side of the board again and just notice as you feel and think about that situation again or that person or that feeling, what number is it now? What's it changed to? And just mark where it's changed. And then go back to the main part of the board again and write down that sentence again. And notice how it feels different this time from before. And you can just mark, you know, wipe it out again. Look at the whiteboard. And notice how you feel when you look at the whiteboard. Notice how things feel different. And then you can just write it down again. Wiping it off again. And looking at the whiteboard again. Just noticing how you feel differently. So now going back to the, the right hand side of the board. Now mark what it's changed to now, that feeling. Then go back to the board again. What I'd like you to do is just write down every the first word of the sentence, then the third word, then the fifth, the seventh. So just missing out every other word of the sentence. And just looking at it. Just look at that sentence. I'd like you just to look at the gaps. Look at the whiteboard in the gaps where the words used to be before. And look at in each gap, starting from the top, moving down, and then moving backwards at the gaps, the white part, and then delete it. And now looking at the whiteboard again. And this time I'd like you to do the same thing again, but instead of writing the first word, write the second word. Then the fourth, sixth, and so on, leaving a gap for the sentence. And this time, again, looking at the gaps in between the words. Starting from the beginning to the end, and then from the, the end back to the beginning. And 
noticing how that feels and then just delete it all and then just look at the whiteboard again go back to the right hand side of the board and then notice how it's changed and mark down what number it is now from 0 to 10, 0 being nothing 10 being the most 0 being nothing and just putting down to whatever number it is now and now what I'd like to do is have all the words but this time all the sent you know all, all the words in the the um sentence but this time just have the first two letters of each word it doesn't have to be completely correct because as you focus on it it can become a bit blurry because it's quite a complicated thing to do in your mind and if you're anything like me then perhaps you feel a bit bored and you perhaps can't be bothered to do that because the sentence is a bit boring now there's more interesting things that you'd rather be doing with your time and it's just a sentence and it no longer has the power that it once did the energy has completely been drained from that sentence and any emotion that was there before can no longer be there because it's no longer an actual thing it never was an actual thing but it's even less of a thing than it was before when it wasn't an actual thing even then because it was only an idea and a sentence and an emotion and as we all know emotions can be connected to anything and if you can take control of those emotions you can connect them to anything that you choose and it's not about denying yourself to feel whatever you do feel it's about more than that it's about experiencing more of what you can enjoy to live the kind of life that you wish to live and that really is pretty much bringing us to the end of this session so enjoy the rest of your day feeling wonderful and I'll see you next time and you can open your eyes when you're ready see you later